president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Leader. Noir, Perry Monk, number two. You know, no, chips, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. How nice. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your pets. Look up below. Le numéro gagnant. Le neuf. Rouge. Empire Monk. Nine. Red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up, number two? Ah, oh, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. my wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Manny! I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system!
Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week, on the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop? 
up the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class. I say we fight back. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. I'm sorry, monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No. That puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I am going to make a mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. How's tricks? Yeah. Virago? Well, my... I could force you to do it with this gun. If anybody had guns in this town but us, we'd know. I could pay you more than him. Manny, look around you. Maximino could buy your club and use it as a litter box. I'll ask Max if I can borrow you. He doesn't like sharing his counsel any more than he likes sharing his girlfriend. So don't bother. 
I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That 